everybody thank you so much for joining me today i took a little breather i hadn't posted in like three weeks but today i'm back and i'm so excited to be back today i'm doing a little pumpkin spice latte eyeshadow look i love the way this turned out i'm so excited to share this tutorial with you guys i use the anastasia beverly hills rose metals palette i got this my sister gave this to me for christmas i've used it once and this is such a beautiful palette and not only that guys look how folly this palette is i was going through my my eyeshadow shadow palettes and I was like let me see what I can use today and this was just perfect so I started off with that shade uh, sun rose and this is my transition I'm just going back and forth in the crease and actually funny story my niece and I were at Ulta the day before I filmed this video and I was like let me see if I can find a palette that I could do like a little pumpkin spice eyeshadow look guys everything that I found was so similar to what I already have and not only that these palettes were super expensive so I was like you know what I am gonna find something in my collection and I'm so glad I did it because this is a perfect fall palette and I love the way this eyeshadow look turned out anyway I took the shade dune and I'm putting this in the crease and in the outer V just to deepen up the look a little bit and this color is like a reddish brown and I think that this color looks so good with the shimmer color that I'm gonna be putting on soon I once when I put that shimmer color on I was like oh my god this looks so good so here I just wanted my lids to be very bright so I'm just using a little bit of concealer you don't have to do this but I feel like it makes a difference I'm just tapping it um on and then blending it out so it's not like super thick on my lids and then we're gonna be taking the shade um this is called rose fire look how pretty this orangey shimmer is it's like total it's like pumpkin in a in an eyeshadow form you know so pretty and then of course i'm just making sure everything is blended out perfectly Now it's time for eyeliner. This one is by Wet n Wild. This was part of their Snoopy collection, but they do have like a regular version that you can find at stores, you know, all year round. This eyeliner is so good, guys. I used to be in love with the Physicians Formula eyeliner and the Too Faced eyeliner, but this one by Wet n Wild, it's just so black and it's so easy to use. Like you can be a total beginner and I swear you can make it work with this eyeliner. I just, it's so thin, but so easy to use. I can't, I just can't describe it. Other than that, I love it and it's so affordable, guys. So affordable. If you're not good at eyeliner, don't worry, neither am I. And what really helps me is by just sharpening up my eyeliner edge by just using concealer, just like this. It is the best little hack and it works every single time. So now it's time for concealer. I use the one size concealer today. It's not my favorite, but it does the job, so I can't complain. And then, of course, I set that concealer with my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder, as always. Such a good loose powder I can't I can't say enough good things about it here I'm lining my lower lash line with dune which is the darkest shade that I used and then to blend that out I used the transition color that one was sun rose um, so that's my lower lash line I used the kiss lashes that you put underneath your own lashes I love these guys I didn't think I would but I'm in love with them they look so good look how good my lashes look and the eyeliner and the eyeshadow I I'm so proud of this look guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me and i will see you in my next video bye